Mario. Let's go. Huh. Maybe I could buy a really, really long hose. Hmm. Would you notice if I painted it blue? Oh, right, right, the Let's Play. Uh, hello, YouTubers. This is me, you, and me too. And you've caught me in the middle of trying to figure out what to do with a drain moat. Ah, I'll figure it out later. Peach probably won't even notice. She's not exactly bright. So, uh, let's go and get some more stars, because we can get a lot today. Now if we just go through our nice rusty iron door that we found and walk past pretending we don't know anything about the broken pillars in the middle of the room or the drained bathtub and uh, get up here which we now have to double jump to climb up. So let's just go through this rather mouldy looking door and I flooded the basement. I think she's going to need to notice. Ah, oh, I'm a plumber. I'll think of some technical term. Like, the bathroom flooded, so I uh, had to put the water down here, and... Oh, look, a bunny! The Nintendo 64 CPU was a MIPS type, or a microprocessor without interlock pipeline stages, and that gave this character his name. He was one of the first characters to be created alongside Mario, and was used in the early testing stages. However, the team liked him so much, they kept him in the final game. He's a rather strange rabbit, without any arms, who apparently sided with Bowser, and even guards a star. This requires my full attention! Toad, you could have caught him! Ugh, what are you doing just standing there? Let's go around here and miss! No! No! You! That's a wall! Not a rabbit! Jump! <laughs> go! Yes! Ha! <laughs> no one defeats me, especially not rabbits. Now, unhand me, brute! I'm late, so late! I must make haste! The shiny thing? Mine! It's mine! Finders! Keepers! Losers! Late, late, late! Ouch! Take it then! A gift from Bowser it was! Now let me be! I have a date! I cannot be late for tea! So Bowser has resorted to hiring bunny rabbits to do his evil doing. Okay, I'll, I'll roll it. Okay, so we've got another power star from the castle. We now have 41. Shall we go get another one in a ridiculously short amount of time? we we'll just go around here and jump up here, and we're going to enter a brand new world. Now, we no longer need stars to get through this part of this castle, which is why, with a certain glitch, which I've never actually tried, but may try just to show you guys, you can beat this game very quickly. But first of all, you're going to want to talk to Toad in the corner here, because he's got some good news for us. So, hello there. Hold on to your hat. If you lose it, you'll be injured easily. If you lose your cap, you'll have to find it in the cause where you lost it. Oh boy, it's not looking good for Peach. She's still trapped somewhere inside the walls. Please, Mario, you have to help her. Do you know there's enemy worlds inside the walls? We have 41 stars. What do you think? Yep, it's true. You idiot! We've got down here. How else would we? Bowser's troops are... You... <laughs> You've been keeping it for me. You've seen me how many times throughout this castle. You stopped catching a rabbit holding one. And you've curled on to this particular star before I reach another bathtub. Well, you, sir, should be fired and ashamed. Well, we've got 42 now. But first of all, we've got to jump into this bath here full of tar? Oil? I don't want to know, but... Hold on, we're going in! <laughs> now, welcome to Hazy Maze Cave, another one of my favourite levels. Not the favourite yet, we're still not there. But first of all, we got to go to the Swimming Beast in the cavern. Now, let's find out who we can meet right here straight away, because this is a big world. Right, well the first new character we're going to meet is a Snuffit. They're rather strange creatures actually. There's kind of a lot of mystery around them because we don't know what they are. They've only appeared in Super Mario 64, the remake, and a Mario Party game. In Japan, their name is a Sniffit, which is the same as another creature. 
but they look radically different. These float, the other ones don't. I don't know. Next up we have Swoop, or more commonly known as Swooper. They were called Super beforehand in Mario World, and have been called Swooper ever since. For this one strange reason in this game, they were just called Swoop, and they act exactly the same in every single appearance. They're very easy to beat, you can literally just jump into them and they die. Next up we have a Monty Mole, and boy do I hate these guys. Not so much in this level, but later on in another level, they throw rocks at you, they disappear, and no matter how many times you try to jump them, you always seem to just miss. Yeah. Now continue on from our previous adventures through worlds to get the grand cake prize, we have Mr. I, and we also have the Scuttlebugs. At the bottom we have another character who we'll be meeting very shortly in this very same episode, so stay tuned to find out who it is. Well, what has been a few character profiles for you guys has been a, quite a few days for me. I've been quite ill, but now I'm back. I know it doesn't seem like I left, but that's why I haven't been in a few videos for a while. So we can continue immediately what I was planning to do before. And I almost messed it up immediately there by jumping down a hole. Do not do that. You will probably die. I got very lucky just then. Oh, this is going on to a flying star. Yes, I'm glad I got better. I need to get crushed by falling rocks. Now this world, it will be rather odd because we're going to be doing things out of sync again. Though not completely out of sync. Here you get extra life. You see, we need to unlock the metal cap. But unlike the other ones where we just went to a world outside a world, this time we're going to a world inside a world. Make sense? I know it doesn't. Jump off here. And just grab from there. Lose no life. Simple as that. Now we meet one of the coolest characters in the game here, we meet a character known as, well many think it's called Nessie. Not its real name, you should find out what its real name is right now. Its real name is Dori, or in Japan it's known as Doshi, a mixture of Yoshi and Nessie. Nessie of course being the Loch Ness Monster from Scotland. And I will admit I actually forgot what its name was whilst recording this episode. But hey, this thing caused me a lot of pain. I think I'd quite like to forget what its name was. Okay, so the star we want is up there. So we need to go and jump on the back of this amazing swimming monster. So we just climb up here. And you may notice it starts spinning around. That's because I'm facing this direction. Now, if we then just walk forwards, you should lower your head for me. You should lower your... I can already tell that this isn't going to work out well, can't you? Based on our run of luck so far. Okay. Now, whatever way you face is the way that he will turn. Now, if we just turn towards the island, this time, please stop. Let me get on your head. Please lower your head. You're not going to lower your head, are you? Okay, thank you. No, go up. Go. Turn that way. Honestly, the only I can make getting up onto this island by riding a... Prehistoric creature, so difficult. Okay, now turn. No, oh, that, okay, that will work too. Now jump on the... No, you're going too far! We'll be right back. Ha ha! And guess what? We have to do it again. Yeah. It's not the first time, because we probably have enough time right now to go and sort out one final challenge. Basically, we're going to go exactly the same way as we did before, so I will meet you guys back in the lair of the sea monster. What the heck are you doing? Okay, because I'm too cool to just try doing this once. We're going to be driving this purple dinosaur twice, and... Oh, I'm good. So fail at a driving test of this. Come on, come on. Go over there. Go over there. Okay, we need to get through these double doors. Okay, jump up on the head. Jump up on the head. Jump up the... No! Jump, jump. Ah. Okay, so turn. Go. Go. Okay, and now. Yes! Haha! <laughs> okay, we go through these doors. And now we walk along this moldy green corridor. And... Wow, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Walk into the bathtub within the bathtub! Hooray! Hey, you're very good! See you next time!